And hello everyone, my name is Master Server and welcome back for more Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time, we started up our grand adventure here, almost died, and ended up getting missiles. In this part, we were to in the at the end of the last part, we were told to go investigate that target. So, we're gonna make our way there. Now, I believe... Oh, we can head through here. I believe that we don't actually want to do that for right now. I believe that we actually want to go this way here. And we will be heading off into a secret area. There's a lot of these in this game. And... In fact, I'm... I feel that there might even be like a secret in one of these areas, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, no, sorry about that. I I was just checking my map to see if there was a any secrets in here. If you notice, this area on the map here is in green. That ma areas in the map that are typically in green typically mean that they're secret areas. So, case in point, this area here. But I believe that this area is only really meant as a way to go and doesn't actually house any major secrets here. We do have a missile tank right here, and actually, I was wrong. I think there is a secret right here. Yeah. There's a missile tank right here, too. I don't know why they give you two right off the bat, but that is not a problem. So, yeah. They give us two missile tanks right there. I believe that... Yeah, we have a save room up here, which, I mean, I guess we might as well use, I suppose. To quote one of my old sayings, save as always. And we will keep on going, so... Oh, shoot. Yeah, you, for every time you see this guy here, you always have to shoot his eye out. And... Wow. Sometimes he'll fire off like a big laser at you, sometimes he won't. Anyways, something I never actually mentioned about the X is that if you don't collect their items, they can actually reform as other enemies. So, yeah, you usually want to collect their items. Sometimes, I think like in that situation there, they pretty much always respawn. Anyways, you're supposed to use these things to like, grab onto, but I can prefer to just wall jump. And you can get an energy tank here. But, that's not the only thing you can get here. Okay, come on, where the heck is it? Yeah, it's right here. If you use a missile up here, there is seriously a second energy tank you can get right before the first boss in the game. So yeah, that is highly recommended to get. And when you're ready, let's head on down here. And meet this guy! This guy... is... not so bad for your first boss, but he does have some pretty big attacks that can cover a pretty large chunk of the screen. I'll be honest, Metroid Fusion is both one of the harder Metroid games and one of the easier ones in my opinion simultaneously, because I feel like enemies can do a ton of damage in this game. I really do. There's... Okay, got him. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of pretty near every boss fight, you have to fight one of these things here. I don't remember these things being this big, but it might just be that I'm not used to playing this game on a huge-ass TV, so... Yeah, for beating him, you get the Morph Ball. Press down twice to morph into the ball. So yeah, and you can also use it to go into smaller tunnels here. Uh, I don't believe there's anything here, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, this is just back in the main area. Uh, where do I want to be going? Actually, we can head up to here now. 
I don't remember, is there anything? Oh, this is just a recharge room, okay then. Yeah, I don't need any of that right now, so. Alrighty then. Sure, let's use the save room, because why the heck not? Alright, I believe up here... Yeah, we can't do anything with those. We, we actually, we cannot do a thing with this area for a very, very long time, so... Yeah, let's keep that in mind for right now. And I believe... Okay, now I'm thinking of something else. I know there's a few secrets in other parts of this place, but... Anyway, Adam's gonna wanna talk to us again, so... Samus, it is as I feared. The breeding environment has been invaded by ex-parasites. Sector 1 SRX shows several abomina... Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator across the shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes, my objective is clear. Use the nav room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. <sighs> Good to know. There's a lot more crap in this game than we, you kind of thought. Now, there is actually a missile right here, which is simple enough to get. So... Uh, t -t -t just checking my map here to see... We haven't actually gone down this way before yet. I... I don't even remember what is this way. Oh, no, can't do anything with that. <laughs> I could go in and show off what's further to left of that room, but I'll... Prefer to keep that at norm. I guess that's something to mention that I'm actually surprised that's brought up or sh that mechanics used this early because it's not brought up for a long time. But yeah, we can't go in that area for right now. Alright, get used to seeing this hub, er hub area of elevators because this is where a very, 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 very good chunk of the game will take place. Is in all these different areas. Anyways, welcome to Sector 1 SRX. The main elevator leading across the shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The Exit Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They're already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get moving! Alright. Yeah, there's already some pretty big friggin' problems aboard. And that's one thing I really, really like about Metroid Fusion is that atmospherically, this is a freaking championing game in atmosphere. It only gets better from here, trust me. There's so much more to this than you would really think. Anyways. Oh, go away. Uh, blue door, can't do a thing about. Green door, can't do a thing about. Gray door, that's the only way I can go. Oh, the, the, this room's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually that friggin' happens at some point. Okay, blow that up, finally. And yeah. You have these atmospheric stabilizer type rooms.
And yeah, you just gotta shoot them with missiles. Atmospheric stabilizer online for units still malfun four units still malfunctioning. And as you notice, this place kinda resembles SR388 for Metro 2. And I believe we have a believe it or not, I know we just got like two in this part already, but yeah. We have another freaking energy tank. So, yeah, if you get these energy tanks this early on, some of the earlier parts of the game are not going to be that bad. So, now then. Yeah, I believe we want to just keep going this way. I think this is just another room where you clear up the rest of these things. I don't believe this is much of a do whatever you want type of thing, or like free reign type of thing. I believe that the generators are mostly, mostly for the most part, in kind of a, like a normal path, like a normal on the route type thing, I suppose. All right. And, alright, I had a feeling. I think there's, I think there is a secret to the right of this room, but I don't think we can get there right now, so. Where does this lead go? These guys are going to just take out with missiles, so. Yeah, sorry, I was just looking at the map to see. There, we have kind of a lava room here. There's a missile right here. There's another missile on the other side of that there, but I don't think we can get that yet, so... Keep that in mind for later. And... I believe I actually want to go back a little bit, because I guess it probably doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't... I don't think this whole part matters, really. I guess it's kind of a circle either way. Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna be going this way for right now. There's a save room here. And you know what? Uh... Yeah, I think this is actually a pretty solid spot to leave off this episode. Next time on Metroid Fusion... We will finish up here in Sector 1 and probably move on to the next sector. See you guys. No, I do not want to engage in sleep mode. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.